What is going on everybody and welcome to a little a little side series that we're going to be trying out for just a little bit here. I don't know how sustainable it's going to be, but we're going to have a fun time doing it, which is why we are calling it Fun Friday. We are going to be opening up some packs today. We have got five packs sitting in front of us of varying sets. Some of them new, some of them old, and they're all going to be a really fun time to open. Uh, I do also, as a little subset of this first inaugural episode, We've got two very special packs. We've got two Time Spiral packs, one from the OG Time Spiral landscape and two from Time Spiral Remastered, the most recent set. So we're going to be trying a little, maybe a little bit of a comparison there. And I think uh, we might actually start there as well, but we're going to have a fun time. We're going to take our time going through these packs. We've got some really, really good ones, obviously. Time Spiral, Time Spiral Remastered, Modern Horizons, Commander Legends and Onslaught. Uh, so some really, really good stuff. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to start out with the newest pack. We've got that Time Spiral Remastered. This set has been amazing. As you guys know, um, there have even been a lot of issues with this set, uh, particularly in that uh, it's been hard to get your hands on uh, as of late, uh, thanks to limited print run, things like that. And so it's actually a little bit tricky uh, to, to get your hands on it. Thankfully, a single pack isn't that difficult, but a box is a little bit harder. Uh, so we're, we're sticking with the single pack today, but let's let's go through. We've got 4C. I love this artwork here. Super, super fun. Uh, Hellbirder. I love this card as well. It features that suspend mechanic, which is always a fun time. Uh, ooh, Reflex Sliver. Obviously, one of the big pulls in this set is Sliver Legion. I think it's actually sitting at the top right now. Uh, but there's also quite a lot of other things. Thoughtseize, Chalice of the Void, Tarmogoyf, a lot of old school cards. Um, so some really, really good stuff in here. But representing that Sliver, uh, tribe is always a fun time. Reflex Sliver being a very good representation indeed. Uh, Corpulent Corpse. Look at that. Look at that crazy art. I love it. <laughs> Uh, Thrill of the Hunt, nice little combat trick. We've got Orcish Cannonade, not bad, not bad. Fortify, great for those go-wide strategies, those draft strategies. Usually a pretty useless card elsewhere, but a really, really fun card for sure. Dreamscape Artist, again, just featuring amazing art. Oh, love it. I love the art in this Time Spiral set, it's so cool. Giora's Time Bug, uh, very useful for those suspend decks as well. Our first uncommon is Core Dirge, uh, instant two and a black. Love, again, that perspective on that artwork is just so fascinating. A wipe away featuring that split second mechanic. Now this mechanic is something we haven't seen really since Time Spiral. It's just so, so good. It basically just says it can't be responded to, period. Uh, it goes on the stack and that's it. I love that. Uh, Fury Sliver, again, representing that Sliver tribe with that double strike. One of the big payoffs, in fact, I would say, in draft. If you are in that Sliver's deck, this is just such a powerful, powerful card. Our rare is Reiterate, which I don't believe is high on the value list by any means, but it is a very, very cool card. Instant 1 and 2 red with a buyback of 3. Copy target instant or sorcery. Uh, you may choose new targets for the copy. Very cool kind of uh, old school mechanic that uh, was reprinted here, which is very fun. And then a Kasali Pride Maid Mage, excuse me, <laughs> is our time shifted card. I love these old school time shifted art frames. Just amazing, amazing. Oh, and we did get a foil seal of Primordium. Not a, not a crazy good foil by any means, but a very cool one at that. And then of course that Sapperling token. So not a ton of value in the first pack here, and that's fine. But let's. Let's do a little bit of a comparison, shall we? Let's open up the OG Time Spiral and see how things go here. Maybe we will have better luck, maybe. Uh, I like to think we might. Ooh, that is glued shut. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, uh, also I do have some values pulled up here. Uh, looks like Gemstone Caverns is still sitting at the top for Time Spiral, OG Time Spiral. Uh, Vesuva, Gauntlet of Power, all those are very, very good pulls as well. Uh, Reiterate is actually uh, in the top for original Time Spiral at $14, but I don't believe. Let me double check. I didn't see it in the top or near the top. Uh, yeah, it's nowhere near the top, I think, in the, uh, the reprint set, which is fine. Uh, but still, lots of really good stuff in here, so let's jump into it. Banalish Cavalry is our first common with flanking. That Orcish Cannonade, look at that, we got it in both packs. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, Errant Ephemeron, one of, I think, a really, the really, really good common uh, suspend cards, especially if you're going to be drafting this set, just super, super powerful. 4-4 four, four Flyer, uh, suspend 4 for 2, like that's pretty good. 
Uh, it does cost a lot if you're just paying it outright, but otherwise it's very good. Uh, Strangling Soot. Not a bad little removal spell. Ooh, Gem Hide Sliver. This is one of the reasons to be in Sliver, or I will say one of the enablers to be in Slivers, especially if you're going to be drafting this set. Such a powerful pickup. If you can get this and you know you're kind of forcing yourself into that Sliver deck, this is one of the cards that you have to have. Absolutely have to have. Just so powerful. Mind Stab. Not super useful, but very cool art. Shadow Sliver. This is a very, very good one as well. It's one of the payoffs in blue. Giving everything shadow uh, just really, really makes it difficult for the opponent to kind of deal with the cards as they're coming in uh, for a nice attack. And again, featuring some amazing art. Love the art in this set. So cool. Begarden Ranger, Rager, excuse me. Traitor's Clutch. Ooh, God, the art. Art is amazing. Uh, Davenant Healer. Hope I'm saying that correctly. I may not be. We got Fury Sliver once again, seeing two cards that are the same in both packs. That's pretty cool. Sudden Shock featuring that split second mechanic. This is one of my favorite split second cards, just dealing two damage to target creature or player right off the bat. And then, of course, not being able to respond to it makes it really, really tricky. Ooh, Scrib Arranger. Not a bad pickup, actually. As far as the uncommons go, this is not a bad one. Uh, it's worth maybe a dollar or two. I don't think it's a lot. Uh, we may have values popping up on the screen. I have no idea, but uh, still a very cool card. And then our rare. Ooh, okay, okay. We got better value here, I think. Teferi Mage of Zalafir. Uh, looks to be uh, like a six, seven dollar card. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Uh, three, four with Flash. Love that. Absolutely love that. Creature cards you own that aren't in play have flash as well. And then each opponent can play spells only uh, at a time where he or she could play a sorcery. So very, very suppre or oppressive card for sure. And again, featuring that amazing Teferi is just so cool. And then, of course, our time shifted card here is just a desert, but still very, very awesome. So no surprises there. O OG Time Spiral coming up strong against uh, the... Uh, the new school, but what should we open next? I think, you know what, let's go Commander Legends. There's a lot of really, really good stuff in Commander Legends that I would love to see. Obviously, Jeweled Lotus is still sitting at the top. Uh, and speaking of which, <clears throat> if you haven't already checked out our TCG player store, we actually have a Jeweled Lotus for sale. It is foil and it is the extended art version. So if you'd like to pick that up, you certainly are welcome to. It is available right now in our TCG player store. It Resolves is the name. Uh, Angelic Gift is our first card here. Obviously, we got 20 cards to go through, so there's a lot in these packs. Obviously, a lot of commons as well. Nothing too crazy. Uh, Pilgrim's Eye, very, very nice card. Cage of Hands, not bad. Uh, Entourage of Trest, Malfield Twins, Scab Goliath, Palace Sentinels, Natural Reclamation, Sisse's Ring, given that mana ramp, I like it. Skilled Animator is our first uncommon. I really, really like this card, actually. Uh, just seems a, to be really fun. Uh, Patron of the Valiant, not a bad flyer as well. 4-4 four, four flyer for five, I am in. Uh, Hunter's Insight, very cool. Our rare Ember Wild Captain. Now we do get multiple rares, potentially, I believe, in these packs, so we'll see what we get here. Not a bad one, it's okay. Uh, Togo, Goblin Weaponsmith, is our first legendary creature. I believe, again, we get two legendary creatures. Uh, Toya Bearclaw. Eh, it's fine. And then a Foil Volcanic Dragon. Not very exciting. And then, of course, that Monarch token. Unfortunately, not a very good Commander Legends pack. I'll be honest, that was a bit lackluster. I mean, that's okay. It happens. But you know what? Let's jump into one of my favorite sets of the last few years, which is Modern Horizons. Modern uh, if you don't know, is one of my favorite formats. I absolutely love it. Uh, I do know that it's lost quite a bit of popularity, unfortunately, and that's fine. Uh, ooh, look at this emblem. Maybe that's the card we'll get. Uh, there, there's a lot of value in uh, in this set for sure. Force of Negation, seventy three dollars. Uh, Renin six, sixty two dollars. Urza thirty fives, and so on. There's just so much value here. Hopefully, we can get one of those cards, just one. I'd actually really, really like a Renin six. I do have one, but I'd like to pull some more uh, for my personal collection. But we're starting off strong with that Spore Frog. Look at that, love it. Trustworthy Scout, Knight of Old Banalia. Love the the ring there. That's just so cool. Excavating Anurid. Uh, Sliver's getting represented again with Cleaving Sliver. How intimidating is that Sliver art? I love that. <laughs> Lava Dart, a very nice card. 
Ninja of the New Moon. I love ninjutsu. It's a very powerful mechanic. If you haven't played with it, it is very good. Shenanigans featuring Dredge, also one of the most broken mechanics. Uh, Windcaller Aven. Uh, Changeling Outcast. Just such cool art in this set. Our first uncommon, uh, uncommon. Wow, Goblin or a Flame. Uh, attacking creatures you control get plus one plus zero. Not super powerful, but a very cool card regardless. Valiant Changeling. Not bad, very expensive. Uh, Hollowhead Sliver, another very, very nice sliver card. Love it. And then our rare, ooh, is not bad. Fiery Islet. Very happy to actually pull this, to be honest. The, these, This whole land cycle is a very good pull regardless. This one's sitting, I think, at uh, $12, $13, somewhere in there. That's not bad. I'm very happy with that. Uh, that does uh, kind of make up some value here, which is fantastic. Absolutely love it. Of course, we do get the full art land in here. That snow-covered swamp is beautiful. And then the art card as well. We know that token is back there, but look at that. Just so, so cool. Scour all possibilities is the art here. That's so nice. All right, guys, and this is it. This is kind of the big one, I'll be honest. Uh, Onslaught is obviously one of those sets that uh, holds a very special place in a lot of people's heart uh, for a lot of good reasons, mostly because it has fetch lands in it, which are all five sitting at the very top of the value list. Uh, Polluted Delta is sitting at the top uh, at $60, $60 for that card. Uh, $49.90 for Wooded Foothills. We've got Bloodstained Mire sitting at right around $48, $47 for Flooded Strand, and $38. Uh, roughly for windswept teeth uh, and maybe we'll pull one today maybe right that'd be amazing <laughs> mage's guile taunting elf I actually really like the uh, elf cycle here this is very fun crown of suspicion glory seeker one of my first decks uh, that I was gifted by a friend of mine at the time uh, gave me a soldier deck with glory seeker in it and I always thought oh it's a 2-2 two, two for 2 that's perfect and little did I know uh, nosy goblin <laughs> Uh, well wisher this is actually not a bad pull uh, I don't think it's got a lot of value tied to it but in the elves deck this is very very helpful occasionally uh, siphon soul defensive maneuvers we've got dive bomber we've got sparksmith uh, lonely sandbar oh that's right we have the cycling lands in this set this was actually a really fun cycle I thought so I'm very happy to see that uh, our first uncommon is Centaur Glade. Nice little enchantment. Pop it off those centaurs there. That's not bad. Uh, Aura Extraction. Not bad. Again, a cycler. Uh, Dwarven Blast Miner. And then here we go, guys. This is it. Are we ready? Can we get it? Can we get it? Let me know in the comments if you think we'll get it. All right, go. Ah, uh, Menacing Ogre. What even is this card? A 3-3 three, three for 3 and 2 red with Trample and Haste. When it comes into play for each player, secretly choose a number. Then those numbers are revealed. Each player with the highest number loses that much life. If you are one of those players, put two 1-1 one -one counters on Menacing Ogre. That's hilarious. Oh, I love that. Uh, that's so, so funny. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let's, uh, let's very quickly take a peek at our rares. I think it's fair to say that the value uh, for us really, really came from um, the... Uh, whoop, whoop. There we go. Wait for it. There we go. Uh, really came from the time spiral pack as well as we'll put both of these out there because I mean, come on, they're just so pretty. You can't not put them out there. And of course, the modern horizons pack uh, with that fiery islet. So not an amazing pack opening, though. I will say between Teferi and fiery islet, I'm pretty happy. I also really like Kasali Pride Mage, so I'm not unhappy about that either. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Fun Friday. I'm going to try and do five packs every Friday. Uh, just to have a little fun, open up some fun stuff, and we'll see what we get. Uh, hopefully, uh, next time you guys will join us as well. We'll get some really, really cool packs. I will go ahead and spoil. We do have a Shadow More pack already here for next week uh, and many more on the way. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a fun Friday.